How can we help agriculture? How can we make agriculture more sustainable? I'm Mike Milley. I'm the uh, CEO at Join Bio. Join actually was launched just about four years ago, and it was a 50-50 joint venture between Bayer and Ginkgo Bioworks. And it was combining Bayer's microbial and ag expertise, Ginkgo's synthetic biology expertise, with the purpose of engineering microbes for agricultural solutions pretty clear that the population's growing kind of like back in the 1920s. There literally was a crisis at that time where how are we going to get enough food as the population grew? And then innovation came. Haber-Bosch reaction, these two German scientists who came up with a way to catalyze and develop synthetic fertilizer as a way of delivering nitrogen to the plants drove productivity and yield up over the next hundred years. So we're sitting here today with this really interesting dilemma, right? We've got this product, synthetic fertilizer, absolutely essential to feeding the world. And at the same time, because of the greenhouse gas emissions during its production, the runoff and impact that it has when it's applied in the soil, it's no longer sustainable. How do we reduce that synthetic fertilizer that's so critical and still allow growers to attain the yields that they need so we can feed people at the level we do today? Microbes are everywhere, they're in the soil, they're on the plant, and it's really about being able to engineer that microbe in very specific ways to address a disease, a pest, or a specific need for that plant. My name is Luis Marquez. I'm a leader at the Plant Microbe Interactions Group. And the work that we do here is basically screening the microbes, their interactions with plants. Uh, we grow very small plants for about a week. Then we harvest those tissues, grind them to a powder, and then extract DNA from those materials. And then we do quantitative PCR to quantify the amount of microbe that we put in the plant and determine their growth inside the plants. And we also do, using Illumina technology, a 16S amplicon sequencing. Every microbe that we work with has to be sequenced with next generation sequencing and it's really the starting point, the foundation for everything we do with that microbe. Without that equipment, without that technology today, what we're doing wouldn't be possible. It is very exciting. It is fundamental for the future of humanity actually to be able to produce food in a sustainable way. The exciting part is just being part of the science and, and frankly part of the partnership. 